This video is going to walk you through how to multiply a decimal by a whole number. It's from fifth grade and it is lesson 4.3. All right, let's go ahead and start here. So we have seven and six tenths times eight. So what you're really gonna wanna do is pretend the decimal point's not there and multiply like normal. So eight times six is 48. So we're gonna wanna put our eight and carry the four to regroup. Eight times seven is 56 plus four is 60. Okay, so now we have 608. If you leave it like that, it would be incorrect because that is the answer to 76 times eight, not seven and six tenths times eight. So instead, what we're going to need to do is add our decimal point back in, okay? So here's how you do it. You find the number that has the decimal, which is up here. This is a whole number, so we don't need to really um, pay attention to this one just now. So go back to this one. I notice that the decimal point is one digit away from the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little one right here. This is a whole number and it doesn't have a decimal point right now. Okay, all whole numbers actually have an invisible decimal point um, and that would be at the end of the number here. In that case, um, you would say that there are zero digits past the decimal point. Okay, but you don't even really have to do that because we do have a whole number there. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. All right, so all in total, we have one digit over. So what you do is you go down to your answer and you're gonna go over that many spaces. So one digit over from the edge is right here, which means this is where my decimal would go. So your final answer would be 60 and 8 tenths. Let's try another. This is 35 hundredths times six, but we're gonna treat it as 35 times six. So because I'm treating it like 35 times six, I'm gonna go ahead over here and I'm actually gonna rewrite it as 35 times six. All right, so here we go. Six times five is 30. Six times three is 18. Plus three more is 21. And that gives me 210. So I know my answer over here is going to have those same numbers, 210. But I need to put the decimal point back in. So here we go. Go back to the decimal point that you see. Remember, this is a whole number, so it doesn't have it, so I'm gonna focus up here. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna count how many spaces over it is. So one, two. So that is two spaces over, which means in my answer, I'm gonna have to put my decimal point two spaces over. So one, two and this is where it would go, which makes my final answer two and one tenth.